get cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Let's get cooking. Hey everybody, good morning. I love dessert, I really do, but sometimes there's just no time to bake or you don't want to heat up the kitchen by turning on the oven. So this recipe is perfect. It's easy breezy and you can make it ahead. It's my cherry pretzel tort. Now, a lot of times if I've got a big group, I'll do it in a nine by 13, but what's really on trend right now is serving desserts in uh, clean, clear glass canning jars, mason jars that you may already have. If you don't, go out and fix them up. There's a million different things that you can do with them. I do salads in them, appetizers, um, beverages, um, and then it's a bunch of different dessert recipes. They just look so cute. Everybody gets their own. They look gorgeous all lined up on a, you know, a, a buffet. It looks like your party was catered, or they're great to pack for picnics or outings because you just you know put the lid on it. So the, the first layer starts with some crushed up pretzels. So when you get down to the bottoms of the bag of the pretzels, don't throw those out. They actually make great toppings for casseroles. Uh, but in this case, I crush them up, combine them with melted butter and sugar, and it's going to be a salty, sugary, buttery crust that is to die for. So we're going to take some of that crust and put it in the bottom. And I'm using those small canning jars because this is a really rich dessert recipe. So you don't need a huge one. You could even layer up this dessert as I mentioned, in a 9 by 13 or small clear plastic cups. It'd really look cute in that. Layer number two is a combination. I used a mixer to beat up um, one block of cream cheese along with some powdered sugar and then some Cool Whip. So you beat that together and it, it, it's a wonderful, um, rich, kind of like a cheesecake topping. And one of my tips to get the uh, the, the filling, this cheesecake like filling into a jar is use a little scoop or you can also use a, a Ziploc baggie and just cut off the end like a corner of it and just kind of squirt it in that way into your container and that way you don't get it all over the jar that's key and now here comes the fun part I call this my cherry pretzel dessert but if you're a big fan of blueberries or raspberries or you want to do a lemon, pick yourself up some pie filling or if you want, you can make your own and then just fill the rest of the jar with your favorite pie filling. And it looks so cute. Then you just put the lid on it if you're taking this on the go and you've got a great dessert that you could pack up for a road trip or a picnic, uh, something like that. But if you really want to look like a rock star, you do a bunch of these and you line them up on a pretty tray or a platter, uh, garnish with a little bit of fresh mint. And yeah, looks like your party was catered so easy. Everybody gets their own. They're going to be asking for the recipe, the sweet and the salty thing. And they're just a lot of fun. And hey, you're on trend. So there you go. If you want to get the recipe for this cherry pretzel dessert, you can get it on the website or you can also pick it up at any area festival foods.